definitely grew up taking like a lot of walks with my dad like through woods like this so I don't really mind that it doesn't have like a crazy view. Uh, my name's Anna McKay. I'm from... That's actually a great question. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, um, so my parents were Bible translators when I was growing up. So we um, lived on and off in Dallas, Texas, which was the base for where they worked. And then uh, we lived in Paraguay for five years and Papua New Guinea for two and a half. And then they moved back to central New York when we came back to the States uh, because my dad's uh, siblings lived there. So, and then uh, I went to school in central Pennsylvania for uh, sustainable agriculture and ended up down here about six years ago. I knew a lot of people who had like lived in the region and come to school here. Um, and so being in school in central Pennsylvania, when we graduated, a lot of people either went to like Philadelphia or Pittsburgh and I kind of wanted to like try something a little bit different. So I came down here, lived just outside Asheville for a while and then moved to Johnson City about exactly six years ago. I was working on a flower farm in Bluntville for about the first, I guess that's probably the first two and a half years that I lived here. Um, I worked with Aunt Lily's wild, wild Flowers and we did a lot of weddings and like local workshops uh, and she grows almost all the flowers like on site. Uh, I, th I think there's something to be said for this area is the longest I've ever lived anywhere as an adult. Um, a lot of the places obviously that we moved to when I was younger, my connection to the environment was largely based off of like what my parents were connected to and doing um, and at this point uh, that's been a different experience as an adult. I do think that one of the reasons I've stayed here is because like Appalachia is such a unique like environmental region. You have like warmer and more like temperate winters but you also are able to experience like full seasons because we're cushioned by the mountains in the way that we are. Um, I think that provides like a really unique not only like living experience if you have like seasonal activities that you enjoy doing but also like a agricultural experience like we definitely experience a full dormant winter even though we're as far south as we are um you go down into georgia or somewhere like flatter and you immediately lose a lot of the like diversity that we like get here because of the mountains um so i really appreciate that like as someone who's considering staying here through like my adult years um it's the reason i've stayed here as long as i have uh i think there's just a lot of richness and environment and in culture that you is is unique to Appalachia. I think if you grew up here, sometimes you take that for granted. Like my wife uh, was has, was born and raised in this area, like in Johnson City. And I think that there is a sense of like wanting to get out sometimes, whether that's tied to uh, wanting to get away from some of the familial connections you have or uh, wanting to just start somewhere fresh. And for me, like that's kind of been like, a, uh, I really, enjoy this area because it is so different than like what I grew up with. Um, it gives you a lot of like opportunities that just aren't in other areas of the country. It's funny because I'll keep track of the weather like here versus where my parents are in New York and often during the summers we're within 10 degrees of each other like it's not like we get blistering hot here but our summers do stretch out a little bit longer so like our seasons would go from like April until like October and November is pretty like tolerable all year. Um, even earlier than that, sometimes like uh, March, like late March can start to warm up around here, but then our summers don't get like crazy hot because we are cushioned by the, the mountains. So um, sometimes I'll talk to my mom and I'm like, yeah, you know, it's only, it's not even 10 degrees warmer here. We just get our summers for eight months instead of three or like four. Uh, and I, I really appreciate that just as someone who likes to get outside and do things. Um, I know you can get into like winter sports and stuff like up north, but uh, from a growing season standpoint, like it's fantastic that you have like a full, like April to middle to end of October. Like we haven't experienced our full frost yet and we're into the second week of October. Um, so that that is like a unique part of this region. And because we don't have really harsh winters here, you can actually find farmers, like vegetable farmers who will grow through the winter in either like a, a cold house, um, which just means it doesn't like ever fully freeze in there or um, some sort of like heated greenhouse is pretty easy to maintain around here. So that's, I think, where I find a little bit of personal frustration in this area is that it is so uniquely like positioned to sustain itself locally. But I think that's where the, um, maybe the like political infrastructure like isn't as well set up at the moment. I think we're moving in that direction um, with uh, like renewable energy being subsidized by the government at this point, um, things moving in that direction. This area though is like prime for like sustaining itself if, if we were able to like get that 
get that moving, I guess. Environmental protection like isn't necessarily built into the like infrastructure of the area. And so the people who I interacted with who cared about what was going on or were involved in nonprofits like that had kind of been like a grassroots like um, situation that they had built up rather than something that like everyone participates in because it's built into the like the the local like area. So like in New York, uh, you're not allowed to use plastic grocery bags in the grocery store. And that's just part of what it is. Whereas here, if you're going to use reusable bags, it's because you're choosing to. And that's I noticed that a lot. I also noticed um, people are really deeply tied to like their family roots around here. So like if you were born and raised here, there's a lot of like, yeah, we still get together every Sunday, like with our family. And my grandmother taught me how to can tomatoes and my grandpa, like my papa, like he, he has kept a garden for the last 60 years of his life. And that's always just been part of like my childhood, like going and visiting, visiting them and seeing that. And that's something that I feel like is pretty common amongst the people who live here. If you're, if you're transplanted to the area, like myself, like that, that family history like isn't as immediately rich. And so you kind of have to find those connections on your own. Like the flower farm that I worked on was like six generations of family had owned that 200 acres for, I mean, a long, long, long time. And so that the importance of like maintaining what the family cared about on that land and making sure that it was preserved and taken care of was a lot more personal than just like the young people I worked with up north who were leasing off of other people's land. And like, they sort of were a lot more like Anti-government might be a little bit too strong, but that idea that you're doing something that's against the grain, whereas here it's like participating in like local culture, I feel like. So I guess w one of the things I've noticed about like, so me saying that people will go to like a specific brewery because they know someone who works there or uh, they like knowing that they help make that business possible. There's a portion of that. I think other places that I've lived, there has been a sense of like almost like showiness to like the environmentalism so you buy local because then you can like say that you bought local whereas here i think people like to buy local because like i was saying earlier like they they care about who it is that's actually doing that <laughs> i've never i've actually never been here before i do know that they're not i don't think most of them are tagged but i think this is considered you have to have a certain uh, number of varieties of local plants in order to be considered an arboretum. And this is like considered to be like a local arboretum because of the variety of like plant life that's around here. Um, so that's like actually fairly noticeable just from walking around.